What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Weakness Policy Lunala team alongside with a Venusaur and Torkoal Sun Squad. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. And yeah, we finally got our hands on a Lunala team. I've been looking for one ever since Series 8 came out but we haven't been able to get one on till now but he's rocking out in our front spot top left corner psychic and ghost type we got the move set of moon geist beam which is his stab ghost move i think that's his signature move as well we got air slash ice beam and moonlight for coverage and uh, we get a little bit of heal up from the moonlight as well we got the weakness policy you guys already know what that item does but some people might not know what his ability does and that is shadow shield so what shadow shield actually is is it's basically another multi-scale so if you guys do not know what multi-scale is either and so when my hp is full i will take half damage when that first hit so it's perfect. We can, we can soak up a first shot, maybe proc our weakness policy with it, and get rolling from there. Right next to him, we got Chlorophyll Venusaur. He's going to double his speed in the sun. Got the Koba Berry for air move, so we can eat up a shot. Grass Poison type with a normal move set of Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, and Leaf Storm. Behind my face cam, we got Urshifu with the Focus Sash, the Unseen Fist, Wicked Blow, Detect, Sucker Punch, and Close Combat. And I can also proc our own Lunala's weakness policy with the Sucker Punch if I really want to. Right next to him, we got our Life Orb Mom with Heliowitz. He's going to be able to thrive in the sun as well due to his solar power ability. We got the Life Orb, like I said, for that 1.3 times multiplier. Thunderbolt for stab, Hyper Voice for stab, Ally Switch to kind of pester around and protect it as our final move. Bottom left corner is the Support Mom with Clefairy. We got the Friend Guard, the Evo Light, Follow Me, Helping Hand, Moon Blast, and Protect. Normal for Clefairy. Then in the final spot is going to be our Drought Mom, which is Torkoal with the Quick Call, Body Press, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Lunala team. It's a new month, which means it's a new season for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're sitting at season 16. The stats have reset. And guys, let me know in the comment section down below if there are any new rule changes to this new season. I don't think there is. I think it's just a stat change. But let me know if there are. But we're going up against a Shadow Calyrex team. And I was going to use a team... For Shadow Calyrex today, but I want to get Lunala's spot in here. We'll probably use Shadow Calyrex in the next video. But he also has very heavy meta here with the Incineroar, Rillaboom, Regilecki, Indeedee, and Urshfu alongside with it. So this one could be a tough battle here. Um, how should I go into this? I could lead my Lunala. Maybe try for a weakness policy proc. We are special attacking with him. Um, the, the Intimidate will not really affect us. I'm special attacking with a lot of these Pokemon. A lot of these dudes. I think I might go Lunala. I could go Torkoal, get the sun rolling. Pose that threat onto the Rillaboom slot. Um, he does have Parting Shot. He's looking a little scary. I am actually going to lead Lunala. Um, Lunala Venusaur or Lunala... Yeah, let's go Lunala and Urshifu. Get them rolling, and then I am going to bring Torkoal and Venusaur in the back. Right, is Venusaur to call or Heliowisk? It's either Venusaur or Heliowisk. I'm thinking Venusaur. But I do have Earth Power to kind of do work up against that, uh... That Regilecki, and then I do have Stab Sludge Bomb. So I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I'm not too really worried about the Incineroar too, too much. Considering we're very high special attack. Let's have Parting Shot, which I do have to watch out for. But the Shadow Calyrex, um, I can definitely get off a nice Sucker Punch on that thing and do big damage or even a Wicked Blow and take that thing out. That's why I'm leading my uh, my Urshifu. We're going to try to get off uh, or pose that threat to that Shadow Calyrex. Let's see. Who are you going to lead? He's going to lead a Calyrex. So Follow Me's and all that stuff are definitely going to come out here. I am Focus Sash as well. So, in that case, I am going to actually Dynamax Lunala, go for a uh, Phantasm, I think. I think that's the play. I think that's the play of the day. Unnerve coming out here. Being nervous to eat some berries. There goes Surge. We cannot Sucker Punch. That's the thing. But I think Urshifu should be able to outspeed. If not, should I go for an Airstream? Get the speed boosted up for the boys? I'm thinking that. I could go for Moon Guys, but it has no effect, and I know Follow Me is going to come out here. But I'm going to get that speed boost for the boys back home. I am going to drop a big old Wicked Blow. I'm going to try to get it on this thing, but if it goes for a follow me, it's going to slide over and be able to take out that in DD. Right? That's the play. That's the play. That's going to be play, and we are going to uh, boost our speed. Let's see if he Dynamaxes Calyrex. I really don't think it's going to happen. We did make a good choice with the leads. With the leads, we definitely did make a good choice. I think either way, we're getting off a of KO here. We are going to Dynamax here. Hopefully, he does Dynamax as well. I, I don't mind seeing that. Because I don't see him taking me out in one shot, considering we have the Shadow Shield have damage for Lunala, and then we have the Focus Hatch on the other slot. Do we think he's going to go for a follow me? I probably should double up into the Calyrex slot, just in case he wasn't going for that. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's see. I, I, I'm i pretty sure follow me is going to come out here. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. So he's not gonna die, Max. That's totally fine by me. And Astral Barrage is gonna come out here. Boys eat. The boys eat. There goes my policy. This actually might be able to just take it out ourselves. But we are gonna take speed advantage here, which is huge. And we are gonna be able to take out, uh, what's it called here? We are gonna be able to take out, uh, what's it called? Indeed, he's gonna go. And then Wicked Blow should be able to. Oh, imagine if we would have picked up the KO with that. Wicked Blow is gonna take out the KO for Indeed. And then we should be able to outspeed and take out that, that what's it called, no problem. The Calyrex. So I gotta remember, cannot go into the Sucker Punch with the Psychic Surge going. No first turn priority. Think, do some damage there. But can Calyrex be Focus Ash? I don't think Shadow Riders usually roll Focus Ash, but that could be kind of scary. Because then he could pick up the double KO. I actually might just go into a, what's it called here? A Max Phantasm over onto his slot. Because he can't follow me. And I know I go first. I might double up. I might double up. Let's see what he goes into. Second Pokemon is going to be Incineroar, who's going to run a fake out on me. That's totally fine. So I could detect this turn, which I which I 100% am. Okay, so it's not Focus Ash. It's Orb. Okay, we just saw that. I am going to Phantasm over here. I am going to detect. Actually, no, I'm not even going to detect. I'm going to try to drop a Wicked Blow onto the, or a, or a Close Combat onto you. Try to take you out. Or do as much damage as I can. Because I know we have the speed advantage. If he fakes me out, he fakes me out. It's really not a big deal. I'd rather not detect and waste a turn. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to withdraw you. That's totally fine. And Lunala's going to go first, so we are going to get the defensive drop. And he's going to drop Urshifu out here. That's totally fine by me. And he's going to Dynamax and Incineroar. Okay. He's going to Dynamax and Incineroar. I feel like he sees this as like a last-ditch effort here. That's fine. He can Dynamax and Incineroar. I am going to get the defensive drop, and then what's called is going to come out here. And then a nice big close combat is going to come out here. This thing's got to be Sash. 100%, right? It's 100% Sash. I'm going to come out here and do some big damage on him. Bring it down to the Sash. Okay. I might drop a Ice on it next turn. Just so I can get the Buffets to be able to take that out. I don't know. What, what, what would my play be? We got the defense drop here. Big close combat's coming out. We are minus one, but minus one attack, minus one defense kind of. Kind of counteracts itself. Big close combat. So if he doesn't take out my Urshfu, I will be able to take it out next turn. Or his instant or next turn. I'm going to go for the flare. And he's going to set the heat on his own. That's totally fine. You're going to take out my Urshfu. That's fine. I'm going to bring out Venusaur. And I think an Earth Power should be able to do the job there. Right? Earth Power should be able to come out here and clean that instant or up. No problem. We have Venusaur. Actually, dude, we outspeed it all day. So I'm going to take out the Urshfu with a with an Earth Power, and I'm going to drop a Phantasm onto that slot. I'm totally fine with this. I'm totally fine. I know we outspeed the what's it called. I know we outspeed everybody, actually. Hmm. How do I do this? I'm going to, I am going to take you out. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. The Phantasm. Phantasm doesn't do too, too much, but we are policy proc, so I think this should be enough to take you out. And we should just be able to drop a sludge bomb and take you out. I think that's a fair play. I think that's a fair play. Let's get after us. Sludge bomb's gonna come out here, take you out. And I think this airstream should be able to take it out. We're plus two. We're plus two on special attack. Airstream comes out here. It's not sad though, but I still see it picking up the KO and basically securing us that victory. Yeah, beautiful. All we have left is that Calyrex, which he's just gonna run for because I, my Lunala outspeeds. We got Moonguy's beam ready to go. So I can just send it and take it out. Hopefully he doesn't cancel the battle so we can show off Moon Guys Beam. It's a signature move. But we are rocking out strong, getting ourselves the first win, and starting this video off perfectly. Got to show off Lunala. Lunala dominated against a Shadow Calyrex team. My whole lead is, my lead was what won us the game there. Thinking that he was gonna go Calyrex. So I got out my boys. I got out my strong boys. Because if this Calyrex was able to set up, I would have got swept easily, no problem. I just think if that thing would have took a speed advantage and all that good stuff. Then he would have been able to take out my Lunala, no problem. But Urshifu does uh, pose a huge threat to it, which is awesome. But we're going to go there, and I am going to put this thing to sleep. Because I just want to show off uh, Lunala's move. He's going to run, I know that. He does not. Sleep Powder comes out, and we're going to get to show off Moon Guy's Beam. In the first battle. In the first battle. Go to sleep, man. Take your NyQuil pills. Moon Guy's Beam. Look at this animation. It looks so dope. Look at this, yo. Oh my lord. I think this is one of the coolest looking moves. A giant laser beam from the sky. 
<laughs> Picks him out in one shot, no problem, easy, and we pick up that win for battle number one. Let's get it. First battle went perfectly. Got to show off Lunala with that weakness policy, Dynamax it, and we got to show off Moonguys Beam. Didn't have went any better, but we're hopping into our second battle, looking to go back to back here for you guys. This guy has a Ho-Oh team alongside with X-Drill. x, -Drill. x is one of my favorite Pokemon. I just love him so much. Just look at his sprite. He looks so dope with those steel hands. I don't know why. I always loved him ever since he came out in Gen 5. He also has the Moongus, the Lapras, the Glarian Articuno, and the Tyranitar. Gotta watch out for that Sandstream combo with the Tyranitar x -Drill. but I think we can rock out fine if we go Torkoal and Venusaur. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, who, who can I go into? I definitely want to bring Heliowisk just to cover up on that Ho-Oh, the Articuno, and that Lapras. So Heliowisk, you're not going to get the lead, but you are going to come in here. Uh, probably going to bring the Sun Squad, all the Sun people. He doesn't have Weather Control. Actually, he does with the Sandstorm. I'm going to go Lunala and Venusaur, I think is going to be the play. So if he does end up leading the, what's it called? If he ends up leading the Tyranitar, I can just swap it to my Torkoal. So it might be a little bit of a Weather War. Might be a little bit of a weather war here. So I'm going to lead these two boys. Try to get rolling out here. See what I can do. But yeah, Lunal's, Lunal's a beast. Lunal's a beast. Build the Venusaur in that front slot. Hopefully he does lead the Tyranitar. Hopefully he's not thinking the same thing. Like, oh, go back in with it so I can control the weather. Hopefully they play a dumb play. Let's see. Extra Drill and Lapras. So he is going to play the back end move. And um, do I swap Torkoal in now? I mean, I have Venusaur. I can drop a nice lead. Or Leaf Storm. If I want to, I could drop a Leaf Storm. Which will do work up against that Tyranitar. Um, I could go for a Moon Guys Beam. Which I am going to over on to x -Drill. Does it have any special benefits to it? Let's see. User emits a Sinister Ray to attack the target. This move can be used on targets regardless of their ability. Okay, so it goes through abilities. I'm going to go after this x -Drill. And I think I should drop a Sleep Powder over onto the Lapper slot. Because we are going to be able to outspeed it. I don't want to Dynamax and drop in Resonances and all that good stuff. So let's just see what he does. He might Dynamax, uh, he is going to withdraw the Lapras. And Tyranitar is going to come out here. That's totally fine. And then I'm going to swap. Oh no, you're going to go Ho Oh here. Yo, you crazy. Moon Guys Beam is going to outspeed the X Drill. Beautiful. What did you think I was going to go for? A Leaf move? Because I'm Slam. I, I guess Sleep Powder is Leaf or Grass. Earthquake's coming out here. And that's kind of whack. Lunal is not flying type. I don't like this game a bit, but we eat up all day. Moon Guys Beam should be able to outspeed everybody. Take out him next turn. Sleep Powder connects. Lovely. Without that wide lens, we don't even need it. We don't even need it. Give this thing his night cool pills. Put it to sleep. Say, hey, yo, Johnny, pass your bedtime, get the bed. We're going to be able to rock out like that. Um, I think Moon Guys Beam would be better to go over there. And then just drop uh, Earth Power and take out the Extra Drill and be thriving. And be thriving. So Extra Drill is going to be gone. And this lead's working out pretty decent for your boy back home. Dude, Ho looks so dope. Make me want a Gen 2 remake now. I feel like that's the next one we need. But I heard supposedly there are leaks for Gens 1 to 3 coming in a Master Collection, kind of like uh, Super Mario All Stars, how we got three games. I heard Gens 1 to 3, and that would be amazing for this channel. I would love to do playthroughs on it. But I am thinking of doing a, a Nuzlocke to kind of hold us over until Pokemon Snap comes after we finish up 3D World and Bowser's Fury. So then we can do a Nuzlocke in between with our online content and then go into uh, Pokemon Snap as our side content. But he's going to change into Tyranitar, which is totally fine by me. I can get out Torkoal next turn now. Tantrum's going to come out. Oh, and he's going to outspeed now. Okay. I see you, buddy. And Helio is probably going to be our Dynamax spawn here. Iron Head's going to come out here over onto you. That's going to take us out. That's totally fine. Moon Guys Beam's going to come out. I think I just bring out Torkoal. Just, just a slow, just a slow or take the weather control. I guess our Moon Ghost Beam. Gonna do some damage around to Tyrantar. Yeet. Getting after it. Not very effective. That's totally fine. But we do get a crit. We do get a crit. Well, if it's by Sandstorm, it's gonna throw out here. And I'm definitely gonna get out the Torx. Torx goal. Come on down, buddy boy. Okay. So, what's the play gonna be here? What is the play gonna be here? Hmm. 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 Definitely take out the extra. He's kinda scaring me. Don't really like him one bit. Good Dynamax, but again, I want to save it for my boy Heliowish. And is Heatwave going to be the play? I think it'd be better to go for a Body Press. I could just go for an Earth Power. This thing could be Policy. I'm just going to go for. I really want to go for the Heatwave. You know, I'm just protect this turn. I'm just protect this Torkoal, because I can see him going after me with like an EQ or something along those lines. There's Dynamax. Okay. I think he's going to drop a rock on my boy. And change up the weather. Yeah, that's exactly what he's gonna do. This one's gonna be a close match. This one's gonna be real close. Now that, now that they're gonna die, Max. Hmm. 
All right, Rain Atar coming up big. For protect coming out here. He's going to drop the rock. He's going to change the weather back to what he wants. He might protect the extra here, which would be smart to hold off turn. Yeah. Yeah. It was very, very smart play there. Man. God dang it. So, free turn for him. Free turn for him. Big turn by them. And your boy's not looking good here. Moon Guy's Beam's going to get blocked. He's going to drop the rock over onto Torkoal. Going to hit through to protect. And then he's going to get... It'll be a better turn if he drops it on Lunala. So, hopefully he doesn't. Okay, yeah, it is going on over my Torkoal. And it's going to get weather control. I need Quick Claw. Quick Claw, come out here right now. Come on, baby. I need you here. How often does a Quick Claw come out? Like, is it... Like, I'm going to go look in the, the little stats. Go into its summary and see, see if we can pick up something about it. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Pokemon. So that's it. Let's see this quick call. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This light sharp call lets the bear move first occasionally. How much is occasionally? I need you now, Torkoal. Come here. Come here, Torkoal. Come here, Torkoal. I need, I need to tell you something. Come here. Look at me, Torkoal. Look at me. Look at me. I open up that eye right now. Open it up. Let's go. Focus in. Quick claw up, baby. I need you here. I need you here now. It's now or never. It's now or never. I could go Moonlight. I could go Moonlight. I could go Ice Beam. I'm going to go for Ice Beam try to look for a freeze here. But. Go for that Quick Call. Go for that Quick Call. Torkoal! Torkoal! You're better than that. You are better than that, Torkoal. You are so much better than that. You are so much better than that, Torkoal. What is he doing? What is he doing? You have a quick call on and you haven't used it. It's a crit. It's totally fine. We're dead anyway. And Lunala's gonna go down here. Lunala is actually gonna get the ice cream off first. Hopefully we get this freeze. No freeze. We should've we should probably went after the extra, but I, I I was banking on uh I was banking on the what's called coming out here doing work. And the EQ's just gonna take us out, which is rather scary. Dang Helio, it's all up to you. I should have took out the extra. If I took out the extra, we would have had a, we would have stood a fighting chance. We would have stood a fighting chance here. But no, electric and this is just this is just tough news up, for, up against our team. But I do have to get rid of him. I, I guess I have to go after you? But I think I think it's just an EQ is just gonna take us out. I think I think I think it's just GG's. Extradal and T Tar combo coming in clutch. I wanna get I wanna get my hands on another team with them. I haven't used them in so long, and they used to be my favorite Pokemon to use. They used to be my go-to team. For when I was pushing rank ladder. Before I actually started uh, making YouTube videos on it. Or when I actually streamed this. I was actually doing streams and stuff. This was my go-to team. Fans from Extra. Any oh wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. If he's gonna come out here. We gotta eat. We have to eat. Healer was eat up, buddy. Buffets is gonna take us out. Right? Our Buffet's gonna take us out. I don't like this game. I did pick up the KO. Oh, solar power is going to... Oh, no. It's Sandstorm. There's no drought. If Buffets don't take us out in the end... I think we... Because Ho-Oh's asleep. Nah. Oh, we're life orb. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I totally forgot. That's GG's. At least he goes out with some pride taking out the extra. And they do not get that clean sweep. You'd love to see. They do not get that clean sweep because my boy Hero West came in. Third and final battle going up against the Tornado's Kyogre team alongside with Indeedee, Raichu, Rillaboom, and Urshfu. We're going to have a tough one with this one. Pretty meta, pretty meta right here with the Tornadus and the Kyogre. Very, very strong as well. Um, I am going to bring in that Heliowisk and try to win the Weather War with the Torkoal. So I'm going to bring in them. I'm definitely bringing in them. Uh, I might leave the Lunala Urshifu combo. Lunala Urshifu can come in here, do some work. We have a Sucker Punch. Uh, we can do some decent damage on a lot of these Pokemon. And I can always swap it to the Torkoal and bring Torkoal Heliowisk. Will that be the play? That could be the play. I'm going to go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Get Torkoal out here and Heliowisk. I can lead Heliowisk. That wouldn't be a bad lead. Well, I can bring Venus. Venus was not bad here either. I said we would. I said we would draw. So we uh really do want him though. I really do want Urshfu. Urshfu is really good. Now we're gonna we're gonna stick with our with our guns here. Now you know what? Now I'm gonna take out Urshfu. I'm gonna take out Heliowisk, and I'm gonna go Venusaur as a lead with Lunala. I definitely want to bring in Lunala. Because I'm trying to show them off in today's video. So we're going to go with these guys. We're going to go with these guys. Probably if I wasn't trying to show off Lunala, I would go uh, Urshifu, maybe Venusaur. I would definitely bring the Venusaur, Helios, and Torkoal. But maybe swap out Lunala for Urshifu. That might be my play. 
Because Urshifu can do work up on this Ndidi if he's trying to go for all the families. But if he doesn't bring Ndidi, it work, works in pretty well. But I already know this one's going to be tough. He's got the Kyogre. He's got the Kyogre. And everyone knows that thing's an absolute beast. But I heard that Groudon's been bigger meta than him. Like, especially in tournaments. Like, everyone's using Drought Groudon team. I heard that's really, really strong. But who are you going to lead? Is going to be Ndidi? Is not. Okay, so it's going to go Rillaboom into uh, Runanus. And I guess we're, we're going to go for the Weather Wolf stuff here. But I do have Venusaur chilling here. Which is totally fine. Can drop a sludge bomb into the real boom slot. He's probably gonna fake me out. Uh, and, and the great surge is gonna get popping. Okay, that's fine by me. I'll do not take out my uh do not fake me out. I'm gonna I'll be upset. Go for an air slash. I'm gonna go for an air slash. Actually, I would love to get rid of that tornado. He's gonna be able to just pest around here. I'm just gonna drop an ice beam on that, because I do not wanna uh go into my dynamax just yet. I mean I'll try to go for a sludge bomb over onto you. So you're gonna fake out. There goes the tailwind, obviously. Does the tailwind just come before the fake out? Does it prankster? I think it does. Oh, he's just going to okay, so he's not doing that. So we're gonna be able to get off a nice like ice beam here. And I think it was Sash regardless. And then knockoffs coming out here, he's gonna take off my policy. And actually policy's gonna trigger here. We do not outspeed. Actually, yo, we did outspeed that uh We did outspeed the Rillaboom, which is huge. We did outspeed the Robin, which I really do like. I could go for a Moonlight. Oh, no, we might go for a Moonlight. I think I am going to drop a Moonlight. Let's Moonlight up. And just Sludge Bomb over here. I might try to go for a Hurricane. Let's see what he does. Now we outspeed a, a Robin in a Tailwind. Now he's going to glide. Can we eat that up? Eat up, buddy. We do not eat. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hopefully he misses his Hurricane, but he's probably going to land it, right? Oh, he's gonna go for Ice Beam. Okay, so we'll be able to eat that up. I can't get off Torkoal here. But I am not. I am gonna get out Helio Bisk. He's gonna slow me down, and I will be able to take out Robin, which is lovely. The Robin, get him out of here. Robin's gone. Um, I'm not gonna bring out Torkoal. I'm gonna bring out Helio Bisk. Helio Bisk, come on down, buddy. Come on down. So Helio Bisk is gonna be able to pop out here. Um. I think Helios is going to be our Dynamax Pokemon, so I might just Dynamax him here. Get the Electric Train boost it. Is he going to go Kyogre? I think, I think we're just waiting this one out. He's probably going to go his other Pokemon. No, he's going to go Kyogre, so I'm going to, I'm going to be able to swap next turn. Uh, do I drop a Lightning? Hmm. Or do I not even swap? Because what's his, what could his final mod be? Who can he swap into? Who you Raichu? I don't see him staying in. I really don't see him staying in, so in that case, I might just strike onto you. I don't I don't see him staying in. Do I make a hard read and say he doesn't stay in and swaps? I say he swaps into the ride you, like no problem. And I take you out and I swap you out for the Venus or for the Torkoal. I say he swaps, man. Or he protects. I don't see him staying in with that Kyogre with these two powerhouse of threats on the field, right? I just don't see it happen, right? Who he does? Yes, he does. I guess he does stay on the field. He's not going to Dynamax, though, unless he's that slow in the tailwind. Okay, so he might rain dance. That's what exactly what he's going to do. He's going to rain dance. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. Torkoal's gonna go down here. He's gonna take about the control. He's gonna rain dance. Only dead rain dance. Okay, so he's gonna go for Hurricane. That's fine. Good thing we did swap. He he is here. He gets the ducks going. And water spouts can come out here. Torkoal is gonna drop. But yo, that's totally fine. We take out Tornadus. He can't rain dance next turn. We slow down the Kyogre. He cannot swap out now. Right? Yeah, he can't swap now because he only has two. Um, we can drop a lightning now. Roboom is going to come out here. I could drop a Leaf Storm. Okay. Oh, no. Roboom's dead. Roboom's dead. Who's his final mind? That's the real question. I'm just hoping it's not a Raichu. Solar Power is going to take some of her damage. But if it is a Raichu, I can Earth Power and I can uh, Double Throw on it. I'm just hoping it's not the Raichu. But we still have our Venusaur. We got Weather Control here. Unless he Dynamaxes. If it's not the Raichu, we're going to drop a Lightning into it. And it's going to be the Urshifu. Okay. The Urshifu is going to come out here. Uh, I am going to drop a Lightning. 
Oh no, fighting's gonna be super effective me. I might guard. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do guard here. He doesn't take me out, and I am going to put. Ooh, no, it's we have the we don't have electric strength. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Put you to sleep. Hopefully they double throw on me. That would be nice. Let's see what happens here. 100% guard in here. I am going to guard. Actually, I didn't have to guard. I did not have to guard. I did not have to guard considering my Venusaur would outspread the Earth's regardless. Let's just see what happens here. I am going to guard them, just in case. Just in case. There's a sucker punch. It fails. Sleep powder comes out here. Rough news. Guys, it comes out. Block it. Block it. Oh my lord. Okay, big turn. Right, that's a big turn. Solar power coming out. All right. Woo! We're going to go for another sleep powder, and I'm going to drop a lightning. That's going to be the play. Can't win this Peter out. That's huge. That is huge, man. All right, yeah. We got a lightning here, and we are going to drop a sleep powder over on the Urshfu. Urshfu, you got to go to sleep, man. He avoids this again. I'm going to cry a little bit. Something you might see, you might see a grown man cry. Pick a punch coming out here. That picks up the KO. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yo. That really just picked up the KO? Oh, dude, if he was asleep turn one. If he was asleep that first turn, we would have been thriving. But nah. We had the Mr. Sleep Powder. Here goes the geyser. Um, what's gonna what's gonna be the play here? We still have speed this thing. We should be able to eat this up. I guess I gotta drop a leaf storm and hope this thing is has a three turn sleep. But then I drop my special attack like crazy. We do have the grass terrain. We do have the terrain to help us out here. We oh no, now we don't. Of course, it ends perfectly when we need it. This game, man. This game. This game's doing me dirty. Um, that stage effort's gonna be the leaf storm. 100%. I don't think it's picking up the KO. But still, so it's gonna be some big damage. Thing sleep. I need a three turn sleep from him and I need a crit KO on, on this thing. Leaf Storm coming out here. Grass Train would have put it down close to red, but not pick up the KO. Yeah, it's game over now. Special attack is going to drop. He's going to drop a Hailstorm. Yep. Hailstorm coming out here and we're going to go one and two for today's build. Man, dude, if we would have put that Urshifu to sleep turn one, I think we would have won this game. I really do think we would have won this game. Because we would have been able to get off of Max Lightning onto that thing. So he would have been dead. With that life orb, and we would have been able to eat up a geyser if he had it coming to us, and then would just been two v one on the Earth food. Not a bad set of battles for today. Went one and two. We got show off Lou Nala in that first battle. Got the Dynamax it show off for the weeks policy and show it off, just absolutely dominating and powering through. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.